Well, hi, John Miller here with the Friday Devotional. <clears throat> you know, we, uh, we talk uh, a lot in the Christian community about being filled with the Holy Spirit. What does it mean to be filled with the Holy Spirit? And I want to take you to Ephesians 5.18. You may have it memorized. Uh, if not, uh, you may want to grab uh, your Bible and uh, before we go further. But Ephesians 5.18 says, uh, Don't be drunk with wine, for that is dissipation, uh, excess. It's uh, rebellion. The word dissipation has uh, several ideas there. But uh, we're obviously told not to be uh, drunk or under the influence of anything but the Spirit of the Living God. Whatever it is that impairs our spiritual judgment and allowing the Holy Spirit to take over us is not good. It's not right. And uh, you could think of anything you want uh, that and of course, uh, Paul uses the, the idea of, of being drunk, being inebriated. No, he says, no, we, we need to, if we're going to be uh, inebriated with anything, let it be the spirit of the living God. And so he says, uh, don't be drunk with wine, for that is uh, excess, but be filled with the spirit. The word be filled is pleirusta in the Greek, and it is a... Uh, present passive imperative and so what that means is it's a command uh, it's it, God is not asking just at, he's telling he's saying I want you to be controlled by the Holy Spirit what is controlled play rusta means controlled I mean it means uh, to be under the control of so uh, don't be drunk with wine but be filled the word be filled means control uh, under the control of it's imperative it's uh, a present passive so what it means is uh, you don't make it happen it happens to you when you surrender your heart to the Lord uh, and come under his control so it's passive in that sense it's present tense which means uh, it's a continuous action uh, it, it's not a one-time deal as maybe you've heard have you been filled with the Holy Spirit as if it's a one-time event no it happens uh, countless times throughout our life when we as we surrender to the to the to the spirit of the living God because you know, the flesh can take over and that is not being under the control of the spirit but what does being filled look like what what does it look like to be under the control of the Holy Spirit well, the, well part of the answer is in the next three verses and so 19 says, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody with your heart to the Lord. So right after it tells us to be spirit controlled, it tells us to have a joyful heart. And uh, that's manifest, of course, in, in music and in singing. And, and, uh, and so a person who is controlled by the Spirit of God will evidence a joyful heart. Next verse always giving thanks for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God, even the Father. And so uh, that's a thankful heart. Uh, you, you'll know someone is, is, or have a good idea that someone's controlled by the Spirit of God when they have a joyful heart and a thankful heart. They're grateful. They express that gratefulness in their life, which is kind of the opposite of self-centeredness and selfishness. And so a joyful heart, uh, and that can manifest itself not in just always bumping heaven and, and uh, just feeling happy all the time, but, but joy is, is just a deep sense of the peace of God. So a joyful heart, a thankful heart. Uh, what's next? Uh, sorry about the uh, roller coaster road up there and a big vehicle going by. But verse 21 says, And be subject to one another in the fear of Christ. A joyful heart, a thankful heart, a submissive heart, a submissive heart, a humility. Humility uh, will mark the character of a person that is controlled by the Spirit of God. So all we need to do is ask ourselves, hey, uh, to what extent do I have a joyful heart, a, a grateful heart, and a humble heart, a submissive heart? So these are just a, a quick 
overview in this particular section uh, in Ephesians of what it means to be spirit-filled, to be spirit-controlled. So I uh, hope that's helpful to you and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.